open circuit voltage at 20 volts and we're charging a 51.2 volt nominal lithium iron phosphate pack. That is awesome. Hey everybody, I'm bringing you a pretty cool video today. I'm going to show you how to charge a higher voltage battery bank than what you have solar panels. Normally your solar panel would be higher voltage. You'd send it through a standard MPPT charge controller and charge your battery. So your panel would have to be higher voltage than your battery. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use a lower voltage panel to a higher voltage battery using a boost charge controller. Now there's several different variations of boost charge controllers uh, on the market. Uh, there's, they all got mostly have the aluminum fins. Some of them are digitalized. Well, I've been testing this model right here. It's kind of in between, between the little just aluminum brick boost converters and then the big digital ones that are very expensive. This is a good mid-range product. Still gives you a digital display, a fully potted unit. So it's encapsulated, weather resistant, all that good stuff, and gives you actual readings. And I'm going to be using an energy meter to show how good we the controller is here versus what we're actually seeing from the panels. So this unit comes with Wago connectors right here. This is your input from your PV and this is your output to your battery. Uh, the output has to be at least 10% higher than the input. So if you were using, uh, you can't use a 12 volt panel to charge a 12 volt battery. You have to use, say if you're using a single 100 watt 12 volt panel, you'd have to go to a 24 volt bank or higher. So 10% differential is what this particular unit needs to charge. So I just made a couple of quick adapters on this to show you this. So I went from the Wagos that come with the controller and I just adapted to this energy meter, just some solderless terminals and I've got an Anderson right here on the end so I can adapt to various different things. And then just right here, just a set of uh, 12 gauge leads I had laying around off a different project. And if you don't can't make this these little adapters and things up, these are readily available. So I have some helpful links to get you some products if you're not comfortable with making your own. And of course, I don't have any fusing or anything in this. This is just for display. If you're gonna be using this uh, permanently, you, of course you would have circuit protection in and out of this particular unit. So use some common sense. Don't just straight wire everything. Use uh, circuit protection if you're gonna use this permanently. So enough talking about the boost controller. So I'm sure you wanna see it in action. So I'm gonna take it, get it set up on a test set of panels and charge a battery bank with it. We're gonna compare the readings off this meter to what it's actually putting out, see if it's accurate. So uh, out into the woods we go. So for today's test rig, I'm gonna use this set of 200 watt Flex Solar brand panels, rigid glass panels. I've got them wired in series right now and I've got a cord going out into the woods where the batteries are that I'm gonna be charging. And then the batteries I'm gonna be dumping the charge into are the AGMs you've seen in some of my other videos. And why these batteries? Well, all my lithium batteries are slam full. I have nowhere for storage. Power boxes are full, which is a good problem to have. Uh, so these have a little bit of room left. Uh, not a whole lot. I series wired them today to 48 volts. You can see the connections. So a good little demonstration there if you want to know how to series a set of batteries. So multifaceted video as usual. So I tried to find you a shady spot so we can see everything that's going on. These high noon uh, full power tests sometimes can prove challenging to see these uh, LED and LCD displays in full sun. So I tried to get you a little shade right here, but anyhow, I've got the Anderson coming off the power meter or going into the power meter to the boost charge controller. And then I've got my Anderson coming from my extension cable to those flex solar uh, 200 watt glass panels, 100 watts each, total of 200. And you want to connect your source, your PV, your input to this unit before your battery. So different than an MPPT regular charge controller, you want your, your source in first, it'll power up the electronics in it, then you can set your voltage. I'll show you all that. So let me get power on it first. And of course the refresh rate, you're not gonna be able to see that very good. So I've zoomed in where you can see it. Hopefully the refresh rate on the camera makes it a little difficult to see, but I think you can see that. I've got 43.1 volts coming in from those panels and no output. So you're gonna set your voltage on this unit first. I'm gonna charge these AGMs uh, to about 14.4 each, so that'd be 57.6. So I'm gonna go through here and set my voltage up. Just scroll up. Okay, 
Okay, set it and hit your OK button. So I'm going to connect the battery leads off camera. So remember, we set the voltage. 57.6. OK, and it's waiting for the input. And there we go, it's connected to the battery. So it dropped the voltage down, it's tracking. And you can see the what the battery state of charge is right now, 52, 53 and climbing. So these batteries are almost full. 2.6 amps going into the battery, four amps from the panel at 30 volts. So fairly efficient. So this right here, I don't know if you can see, see the display right here but 37.88, 38.1 is what this is reading. And it's putting in 2.13 amps on this meter. 78.6 watts is what's being put into the battery because the batteries are getting full. And see, we're already at full charge in the battery. It's already hit. So they weren't low enough to really get a good hard pull on them. All right, let me try that again. I'm sorry that was a little bit bananas having them AGMs already full, but I took a lithium pack out of a power station, put a little charge out of it. So let's see if we can replicate it again. So bear with me. This time I'm just use this 100 watt set of panels right here, going to a lithium pack. So let's try it again. Okay, I apologize about the AGMs not working out better than that. I thought I'd pulled more charge out of them than I did before testing. But I've got this two kilowatt lithium iron phosphate pack, 51.2 nominal voltage. So I'm gonna see if there's any room in this pack to put any charge. Uh, I think there's a little bit of room. There's not going to be a whole lot. So get the leads on there. 53.3. So yeah, there. that's that's pretty full too. But uh, for test purposes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to try to dump a little bit of charge into it. So I'm just going to set a low voltage on the controller this time. I'll put it at 54.4. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to connect the charging leads and see if we can dump a little bit of charge in this lithium pack. I don't like slamming them full for storage, but this will at least proof of concept that this machine will work. Okay, there's our charger coming up. You see the voltage on the battery pack right there, 53.8. Dumping one amp in and the little energy meter right here. So it pulled it down to 14, 15 volts from the panel. As you can see, they're co-witnessing each other pretty close. One amp times 53.8. It's pretty close. i uh, got a little bit of consumption right here, of course, going through here. And this is acting as a choke. So this is a little bit of a choke on, this, on the power coming in from the solar panel. So we're going to have a little bit of loss to this little meter right here. And just a little bit of loss here, but still fairly efficient for what it is. So I'll leave this charging for a minute. Watch it come up. See the leads from the voltmeter on the battery right there, 53.5 actual pack voltage now. You can see we're pushing, the controller's pushing at 54 into the battery, so this will climb. And of course, once these, these numbers equalize, it'll stop its charging. So I'll just let it run like this for a few minutes and uh, get back with you. So I've been charging for 15 minutes or so. I didn't want to pack the pack voltage to get too high because I'm not going to utilize this pack for at least a month or two. So I want it sitting at a high state of charge. We've dumped 16 watt hours in, just a little over one amp hour into the lithium pack. So I want to check the actual state of charge, or actually the pack voltage. State of charge is almost full. So let me get the meter to sit right there. So the pack is at 53.9. I don't really want it going over 54. So another cool thing about this little charger here is you can adjust it on the fly. So let's run it down to 53.8, hit OK, and it should drop the current out. So there the current goes down to basically nothing and we can look right here on the energy meter and see there's no energy being put into the uh, boost charger to the battery pack so it's just sitting at idle that's, that's just basically reading idle consumption we're not putting anything in and if you didn't like that voltage and you want to run the pack up a little higher if you want to go to 55.2 for your pack just run 55.2 hit ok and then we'll watch the amperage climb the power comes back in and it's charging it some more and I'm going to stop because I, like I said, I do not want, do not want that pack sitting at that high state of charge. So I'll run it down 53.4 and we'll watch it shut off again right there. Great, great little affordable unit. And this one's rated for 400 watts. They come two, four, six, uh, 600 watts. You can get different sizes, but that's amazing. Using a 100 watt panel. See, there's our 
open circuit voltage at 20 volts and we're charging a 51.2 volt nominal lithium iron phosphate pack that is awesome this is a great little thing to have around so if one of your main chargers or something goes out you can always use a small panel and put some charge to your battery and let's just say it one more time for posterity and watch the uh watch your charge one more time because this is amazing little little piece of equipment for a very great price you see it pulls the voltage down on the panel starts dumping back to the battery awesome i hope this shows you something else you can add to your off-grid or battery charging arsenal a very affordable unit like i told you at the beginning you can get the little just brick aluminum ones anywhere from twenty dollars for them this one's around 50 or you can get to the digital ones that don't put out any more charge than this really and they're almost 200 so this is a good middle of the road with a display you don't have to use an energy meter but using a nominal 12 volt panel to charge a 51.2 volt lithium iron phosphate pack just remember whatever your panel voltage is your battery needs to be 10 percent higher for this boost converter to work or this boost charger great little thing to have around you know, great little product I've been testing it for a few weeks now. It has just worked fantastically. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope I earned a like from you. Please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. If you're not subscribed, I greatly appreciate the subscription. And any questions, please put in the comment section. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching the Off Grid Mountain Homestead.